Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. Clock is a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook on this last day of July. Today we're going to talk about recognizing the daily blessings that God gives to us. We're halfway through the summer in an official way. The months of July and August are seen, at least where I live, as summer. And amidst the summer months, we look forward to this time. And here we are at the halfway mark. Throughout the month of July, God has blessed you in many ways. God has blessed me in many ways. At times, at least for me, it can be easy to take those blessings for granted. And so on this last day of July, to look back to from Canada Day on the first of the month to today, all the blessings that God has given to us just within these last 31 days in this month of July. We know that it can be a whirlwind. Summer, when we get to the end of it, always seems like it's gone so fast. And yet, isn't that true about each day, too? Each day is a gift from God. He's gifted each one of us 24 hours of grace. How do we spend that 24 hours? How have we spent the month of July? Hopefully, we've all grown spiritually. Hopefully, we've grown personally. And perhaps some of us, even physical, who are still growing either in height or, sadly, people like me and perhaps you, wait. The month of July has been filled with many joys. And so I invite us to take those joys into prayer, thanking God for all the blessings he's given us today. Perhaps some of us face some hardships in July. Have we grown from those hardships? Are those hardships ongoing that are going to spill into August? Were those hardships just for a period of time? Or are they so long ago that they're in our rearview mirror that we need to be reminded of them to give thanks that God gave us the strength, the endurance, the capability to overcome those trials? Perhaps we took some risks in this month of July. Perhaps we're still looking to take risks so that the month of August will be filled with joy in one way or another. Many people move in the summer months, whether it be physically their homes or perhaps their jobs, perhaps schools, or even social circles. Some people are downsizing. Some people are upgrading. Where does that leave us? July has been a month of preparations, excitement, opportunity. Looking back at July... What does it look like for you? We often talk about going on retreats, and as Jesus told us just a few weeks ago in the Sunday Scriptures, coming away to a deserting place is something that we all need to do. So take the time today and reflect on the month of July. Let's celebrate the daily blessings that God has given to you. Talk to God about the ongoing challenges. Celebrate the wins. Learn from the losses. Endure the hardships, the crosses, the struggles. And celebrate the surprises, the opportunities, the growth. July indeed has been filled with God's blessings. On this feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola, let us join the church in thanksgiving for him as well, and that we close out this month with a bang, reflecting upon the daily blessings that God has given to us in July. Anticipation of the blessings of August as we begin this new month tomorrow. If we've kind of relaxed too much in July, perhaps didn't get all the things we wanted to accomplish done. Let's work hard in asking God to help us to use August to use that month as a way of growing personally, spiritually, 
and as a community as we recognize the daily blessings of God each day. For God's Playbook friends, I'm Father Rico. God loves you, and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.